How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update about the Halo MCC stuff that's coming around your way here. Uh, first of all, I want to say that this MCC update number four is absolutely huge news update. So much content. I'm just gonna and I'm so impressed for time. I just gotta, you know, just go through it real quick and hopefully you guys will understand what I'm talking about here. Uh, so there's so some speculation to talk about what may be coming for the MCC that we do not know about. It's pure speculation, but I can have some some ideas what's going on here and also just general news about what's happening with the game i recently released a video talking about flight number two and what's that what's going to be entailed with that so if you want to check out that information which is also in this update uh there's a video it'll be linked at the end of this video uh talking about that so if you want to check that out more go ahead i'll be skipping that for this video because i already made a video on it it'd be redundant and so we're just going to jump into some of the extra content that they put in with this uh, MCC development update number four. And again, I'm sorry, my glasses are glaring. Again, press for time. I just gotta go right through this. So again, everybody, just to reiterate, the uh, flight two days are gonna be Thursday, June 7th, Friday, June 8th, Saturday, June 9th. Uh, if you want to check out the times, link will be in the description down below to this Halo Waypoint article. I suggest you go check it out. If you want to see the nitty gritty details, I'm going to try to give you the highlights and so it'll give you the TLDR in this video. Scrolling through this update, I can see that they're talking about the confidentiality and feedback when it comes to uh, these different flights. And I said they're going to be trying to kind of uh lifting some confidentiality barriers so hopefully maybe i can make some videos on it that'd be awesome gives it give you my own thoughts and critiques on these updates as well rather than just leaving to the uh special uh halo waypoint forums right now um apparently someone was streaming uh the halo 3 like 1v1 playlist for a while there so uh and then they get banned so possibly there's some releasing happening there uh we're also gonna so you can see we're here we're gonna get into the details of the hdr settings here where uh, if you have an Xbox uh, One X or an Xbox, uh, I think just the Xbox One X, maybe the, the, uh, the HD version, they have so many different Xboxes now, it gets getting a little redundant. Basically, kind of showing you the basics of like, yes, you can change the brightness, the white, how bright a white color is, how white of a white is, and the contrast as well to see how deep the uh, uh, color saturation can be as well. So. You can check that out as well. If you have one of those special Xboxes, I have a basic one. Because I ain't got that money, son. Now, this is a very important, I think there's some speculation here we gotta go talk about right here. And this is the intelligent delivery system that's becoming for the uh, MCC. Now, you can see uh, the general screen here, if I can kind of scroll down a little bit so it's not, my head's not covering everything. Um, obviously, you can download each game individually. You can also, for each game, you can download just the campaign or just the multiplayer or both. And so you can see, uh, like, you know, uh, Halo CE, uh, Anniversary right here, which I'm assuming they also have regular and regular as well. Uh, you have Campaign Multiplayer, Halo 2, you have Campaign Multiplayer, Halo 3, Campaign Multiplayer, uh, ODST, which I would hope that they just unlock it to everybody, because I think it's only for people who had the game at launch, so there could be something going on there. I, they should just give it to everybody, because by this point, why not? And also Halo 4, but why the hell would you install Halo 4? But if you look, there is quite a bit of space just to the right of Halo 4. Now, all the other games are tightly, you know, fit within each other under the clear line that's right above them and the clear line that's right below these games. But there's clearly enough space right here on the far right side to where you could totally fit another template right here. Seems odd that your uh, UI artists went center these images and have them uh, tilted to the left for some reason. Like you're like as if you're like reading like a book or something like that. That doesn't make sense for me. That's like, like I've done graphic design work. I've done UI work as well. And this doesn't make sense why there is such a big blank space right here. That's a perfect size for another game right here. This could be speculation, of course, purely speculation that when MCC update does come out, we get Maybe a new game. Maybe Halo Reach gets involved with this or something else gets put into the MCC that would fill in this intelligent install template. Now, that could be anything. I would say pure speculation. My guess, possibly Halo Reach coming to the MCC. If you know way, way back, I think back in the dev update number one or two, uh, they were talking about how there are many different uh, you know, top priorities that, you know, they, that 3 for 3 received from the community that they wanted, then uh, they heard feedback from the community, and one of them was they wanted Halo Reach in the MCC. 
Now, that would be pretty quick. Awesome. If we can get 60 FPS, you know, 1080p, Halo Reach, that would be amazing. Maybe even remove that mo really odd looking motion blur. That would be amazing. And it would definitely bring people back. Because I think that's one thing that absolutely needs to happen. If people really want to come back to play this game, you need to give them a reason. You can't just go like a update the game, post on Halo Waypoint, say, hey, the game is fixed. Go ahead and play now. No one's going to really come back to it. You need to give some people a reason, something new, something fresh. This is like a re-release of MCC. And so, blank space right here. Highly speculative, but I'm guessing it's going to be another game or something really close along those lines. Something huge for the MCC. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. If you guys want to, you know, if anything comes around, I will definitely let everyone know on the channel here. So stay subscribed. Subscribe, people, subscribe. Okay, so we're going to scroll down a little bit more. I'm thinking they gave you another uh, example right here of how... Uh, like one person had just the campaign and multiplayer for three, uh, just the multiplayer for CE, nothing for Halo 2, which why would you do that? Nothing for the uh, ODST, just the multiplayer for Halo 4, which why would you do that? But you understand my point. It's trying to save space in people's Xboxes because with the original Xboxes, people always have issues with memory space. It's only 500 gigs, at least up to my memory, or 250, something like that. You also get language settings, which is always nice for the people who uh, habla de espanol or any other language, really. Um, so that's also very good right there. Now they also go into some uh, Q and A's with uh, one of the devs about the uh, multiplayer for the MCC. So one of the questions here was asked about basically dodging, party matching, bans, skill based matchmaking and rankings in general. Uh, Max here, uh, Max, oh my God, I don't even want to try to pronounce that last name. Slagsgore, something like that. <laughs> Uh, he goes into details, some details about uh, basically being real about you talking about the same like well, uh, there's some playlists that are actually very low, low populated such as the uh, team hardcore playlists Very low population in there. And so you will get a wide range of people a uh, wide range of skill range right there of people matching just because you just to get you into a match um, But they do say they want to take into consider ranks. They want to take into consideration uh, party matching as well. They want to have stricter guidelines when it comes to bans as well They're looking some ways to kind of help out some situations when it comes to uh, Ban like people dodging matches as well. I have a feeling they probably watched a couple Tommy cost videos and saw Oh, yeah, dodging's really easy and there's no penalty to it. wonder how he fixed that because <laughs> um, There's a really big issue with dodging around high-level uh, ranks in MCC uh, so obviously since there's gonna be a much lower population say compared to Halo 5 uh, Bands are gonna be much more stricter. They, you know, they really don't want you leaving a match because well It's gonna be hard to find other people to fill in those matches Obviously because it's gonna be a much lower population because well the game's been out for four years now um, So just you know just kind of keep in mind in that it says will ranks be reset whenever we adjust playlists ranks are reset and in those playlists as the content changes so ranks are going to be cleared out reset again personally i have no issue with this i haven't bothered to rank up in mcc and pro probably since halo 5 has been up so uh no problem with me on that uh, will you be implementing a post-game carnage report lobby where both teams can talk before the next match searches uh, Post-game Carnage Report has been uh, converted to a lobby where players can chat and will be automatically queued back into matchmaking. Please note that only parties will stay together once matchmaking begins again. So, kind of same thing with Halo 5 as well. So, it's not going to be continuous, like, keeping the same lobby together like it was like in the classic Halo matchmaking system. They're going to continue on. Basically the same Halo 5 setup when it comes to matchmaking. Another thing to take in consideration through this Q&A was that they mentioned about more rotational playlists coming for the MCC as well to kind of keep uh, the population healthy somewhat. Uh, just because, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's a four-year-old game on, for games that are, you know, at least, what, five years and older. So, yeah, it's going to have pretty low population, so they're going to try their best to try to keep you know things fresh and ready to go for everybody and as we mentioned about the playlist they actually listed out the playlist coming to mcc so we have for halo ce you have ranked 2v2 and social 4v4 in halo 2 you have ranked team hardcore and social 4v4 uh, halo 2 anniversary you have ranked 4v4 
uh, Halo 3, you have Ranked har Team Hardcore, Social 4v4, and Social Big Team Battle. Halo 4, you have Social 4v4. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, no, my big team battle on Halo 2 is gone. Don't worry, chill, chill people, because what they're gonna be doing is probably be rotating big team battle, as they mentioned in this post as well. So one week, one month might be in Halo 3, next month Halo 2, then Halo 1 even. So they're gonna keep that rotation. I would love, absolutely love to play some big team battle in CE, because I was never able to get 16 people together to play <laughs> so, you know, it's these big, huge CE maps that are completely made for big team battle, but just obviously, you can, it's kind of hard to find enough people to sit down together. Um, I'm probably kind of surprised that with Halo 4, they don't keep a big team battle playlist permanent because that seemed to be like everyone's preference with the game. I remember looking at population statistics as well. Big team battle was the most popular playlist in Halo 4. Um, I'm not going to be even bothering installing anything involving Halo 4 whatsoever, but that's just my opinion right there. <laughs> They mentioned also in this update that they're going to try to fix the syncing issues with Halo 2 co-op. So if you're playing co-op online with Halo people on Halo 2, then hopefully uh, your games don't become desynced. And they're going to basically say they're going to be copying the code from Halo 3 and bringing it over to Halo 2 for that kind of networking. Dedicated servers were mentioned in this one as well. And they're going to actually looking into doubling the tick rate for the servers. So uh, that's actually one thing they're gonna be testing out in flight number two, is they're gonna be updating the servers from 30 hertz to 60 hertz. Basically meaning uh, information is gonna be sent twice as fast, so you may have much more snappy and much more responsive games. In this update, they also mentioned about how elites, some elites can't do a wield for whatever reason that is. Uh, so they basically said in the TLDR, 99% of elites don't do a wield in Halo 2 Anniversary because the AI data was changed without regarding to how the AI code uses that data. So they're gonna be trying to fix that up. And so then when you're playing, you know, Halo 2 Anniversary, uh, that the brutes will be, or brutes not, not brutes, but the elites will be uh, dual wielding as well. <sighs> okay, so that was all the information we had to talk about here for the MCC development update number four. Again, so much content and so little time to do it. I had to do it in this kind of form. I usually like to do a little more production, but you know, I just kind of had to go for it on this one. And so uh, if you guys are interested in staying up to date with more MCC content and more updates, each single one, see how they go through and how the game progresses. Uh, make sure to tap subscribe because we're going to be constantly uploading updates on this channel as well. And if you want to stay up to date with anything else with uh, Halo news, with the E3 coming around, again, subscribe people. Just like, I can't tell you guys enough subscribe <laughs> uh, make sure to tap this like on this video as well to make sure that uh, this video gets more notoriety so more people stay up to date with all the information coming for mcc leave a comment down below what you think about the updates coming to mcc are you part of flight number two let me know in the comment section maybe we can party up and play sometime because it's gonna be a very low population and i'd like to get my hands on it for sure but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out